So this is Christina, Christina Rodanis, and she has written and illustrated more than 25 children's books. Uh, her newest features Huck from Billings Farm. Christina's going to read for you guys, and then I'm sure she'd be happy to sign a book. If you Very happy. Book. And keep in mind, you can go see Huck at Billings Farm. Huck and his little brother Finn are actually still there, big hulking um, st uh, steers at this point. So I can use your help while I'm reading this story. And um, there's this really important word that happens a couple of times in the story, and the word is moo. Do you guys know moo is something the cow says, right? Okay, so when I raise my hand like this, all right, I'm going to want you guys to moo. So everybody, adults, kids, moo. Okay, so let's try it. I, I we'll count to three. One, two, three. Moo. Okay, one more time. Let's try it again. One. Two, three. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. You're good. Okay. All right. So here's the story. I'm sure I can see it. Okay. So it's called Huck's Way Home. That's him. He's a lot bigger now. All right. Huck woke up with a jump and sprang to his feet. Today he was going to his new home and he was very excited. Best of all, his little brother Finn would be coming too. As he did every morning, Huck butted Finn awake. The calves chased and raced each other across the meadow, celebrating their special day. All of the cows in the herd were happy for Huck and Finn, but it was hard for them to say goodbye. One by one, they gathered around the two little steers to offer kind words of advice. Young Boo-Boo was the first to speak. Remember to stay together, she cautioned. That way, you will keep each other safe. Wise Roseanne added, and if you ever feel afraid of the dark, look up at the stars. They will comfort you. A long, low, Boo echoed from the back of the herd. <coughs> Slowly, old Savannah ambled forward. Should you ever get lost, she explained, perk up your ears and listen, then follow your feet home. After all the goodbyes were said, the two brothers climbed into a waiting trailer and set off for their new home. All the animals at Billings Farm were stopped what they were doing when Huck and Finn arrived. The horses peered over the fence rails, the sheep poked their noses against the gate, and the cows peeked out from their windows. Everyone was eager to welcome the new calves. As Finn followed Farmer Chuck into the barn, Huck waited by the open trailer door, out of nowhere, a streak of orange caught his gaze. It was the biggest butterfly Huck had ever seen. He wanted to get a closer look. In an instant, he leaped from the trailer and squeezed through the pasture gate. He scampered after the wonderful insect as it flittered across the fields. At the edge of an old apple orchard, Huck stopped to look around. To his surprise, he noticed a group of people running toward him. They were carrying ropes and shouting his name. The little calf did not know what the people wanted. Frightened, he did what he knew best. He ran as fast as he could. He darted and dodged through the apple trees, up a dirt path and out onto a busy street. At the, oops, sorry. <laughs> Huck ran past an old iron bridge and raced along a winding river, his little hooves slipping on the smooth pavement. He could hear a loud commotion close behind as more and more people joined in the chase. Gasping for breath, he swerved across the street and dashed through an open gate. Huck found himself in a shady field where an army of tall gray stones surrounded him. He crouched behind the biggest stone he could find and waited. 
When all was quiet, the little calf stepped out from his hiding place. He stood as still as a statue, sniffing the air. Suddenly, he bounded into the woods, disappearing into the shadows. Back and forth, higher and higher, Huck followed a trail that looped up the side of a mountain named Tom. As he climbed, the forest animals called out to him, growling and howling, grunting and squawking. At last, Huck stopped to drink at a still mountain pond. As the sky turned from pink to purple, he rested at the water's edge. Where is Finn, he wondered. Where is home? With all his heart, he wished he had heeded Boo Boo's advice. Huck was sad and lonely, and it was getting dark. Shivering from fear, he tried to remember what wise Roseanne had said earlier that day. As the old cow's words came back to him, he scrambled to his feet and headed farther up the mountain. The steep path twisted and turned. Above him, a tangle of branches blocked the moonlight, making it hard to follow the trail. When he reached the mountaintop, Huck looked up into an endless field of glittering stars. Please help me, he cried. I am afraid. The stars answered with a wave of stillness that settled over the little calf like a soft blanket. Exhausted, Huck fell asleep beneath the biggest star of them all. With a flick of his tail, Huck bolted down the trail, rocks scattered in all directions as he skidded around the curves. Huck charged past the still pond and zigzagged through the field of gray stones, his ears flying. He followed his feet across the paved street, along the winding river, past the iron bridge, through the orchard, and between the rails of the pasture fence. all the way to his new home at Billings Farm where he was welcomed by friendly cows. Gentle people. And his little brother Finn. And <laughs> End of story. So at night, I don't know how many of you look up, but if you look up them at around uh, Woodstock, you can see Huck's star. It's lit every night for a long, long time all through winter, and that's where he slept that night. Okay, does anybody have any questions about Huck or the story, how I did it? You might have one, sir. <laughs> you have good questions. <laughs> yeah. Nothing coming to mind? Nothing coming to mind. <laughs> hey, I see Huck pretty often. Yeah, I know. He's getting big, too. He's getting very big. He's How just as cute. He He's just over here. He's about, what, 14 months old now, maybe? Uh, yeah. About no, 14, 14 months. months. How old is he? No, 14 months. Mm -hmm. About 800 pounds. He could be, like 700 pounds. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. At least 1,000 pounds. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> End of story, unless you have any questions. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. If anybody wants them personalized, I'm right here with my pen and my glasses.